So, I have to talk to you guys about another prank today. Another epic prank in the hood that pisses everyone off and I don't know why they upload it in the first place. We've had a lot of pranks being analysed on this channel. We've had Soul Flo Antonio, Bombs in the Hood prank. Sam Pe well, to be honest, Sam Pepper's entire life is just a prank, let's be fair. But today, I bring you a beautiful prank. An ISIS recreation prank. You thought... Bombs in the hood prank was bad. Wait until you see this. The entire video is just a bunch of London kids throwing out stereotypical London words. Yo, can see you. Oi, getting into this thing. <laughs> allow it. Yeah, allow it, cuz. Allow the ISIS attacks, cuz. Allow it. Allow it, fam. Allow it. And they basically scare the shit out of their mate, who is rightfully scared of ISIS, into making him more scared of ISIS. The entire video portrays a very important message. If you see a terrorist, you get scared. It's fucking, it's fucking amazing, right? Just the, the science behind these videos. I don't, I don't know how they do it. So, uh, before we lose our sanity anymore, let's get into analyzing this video. Bye. Yo guys, Omar from Vijama here today. You're probably wondering why we're dressed like this, so... Please, elaborate. We have no idea why you're dressed like that. It's not like the video's titled ISIS in London prank or anything like that. No, no, please explain. Today, Alex's mom gave us back door keys of his house. We're gonna go in through the back to get the shit out of it. I love what the guy on the left is explaining the prank and the details. The guy on the right just looks like he wants to kill himself. He's like, what am I doing with my Saturday night? Pretending to be ISIS pranking my mate. I should kill myself. So basically... Alice's mum, as he's just mentioned, is in on the prank. Um, James is also in on the prank. James is gonna find a way to get Alex out of his house. And we're gonna go in, set up some cameras, and yeah. Basically, Alex is just totally scared of ISIS. And obviously, due to the recent Paris attacks, um, Alex has just been on red alert. Like, anywhere we go, he brings up the fact that there might be ISIS there. So, we're just gonna take advantage of that. We're just gonna take advantage of Another one. that. See, this is where I draw the line between a simple prank and someone being absolutely retarded. Pranking someone, it's annoying, it inconveniences them. But at the end of the day, it's just a prank, bro. Everything's fine. Recreating actual events of terrorism as a prank... I don't, I don't, these people, man, it's 2015 in a nutshell. When we're gone as a species, when humanity is extinct, this will be the only record they have of us. Some kid in London recreating ISIS as a quote-unquote prank. It's been a long time coming. He's out here pranking everyone, so we're time, it's time to get pranked. Yeah, that's right, man. I'm a good friend. You prank me, I'll traumatize you with a reenactment of ISIS hostage taking. Oh, I'm such a good friend, man. So the kid who's in on the prank, who's trying way too hard to be OG KSI. <laughs> get some lunch. Allow it. Oi, getting into this thing. Man can drive, you know. You know, this is a great video. It's a two-in-one offer. You get a prank and a cringe compilation all in one. Gets his mate in the car and tricks him into driving off to get in a takeaway. While well, the two pranksters break into the kid's house with the keys and wait for him to come home. Wait, wait, have you got the keys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me hold the key. Um, I'm gonna set this one up here. Where? Right, right here. Cool. Just a reminder before this prank goes down. All these kids are doing are hiding in corners of a room, gonna jump scare their kid like it's PewDiePie playing fucking amnesia for the 10 billionth time. Somebody out there? It's a prank! It's a prank! I don't... Uh, I honestly don't know where to begin. Like, the amount of cringe in this. 
Oh, God. Like, he literally scares the guy. He's absolutely terrified because he thinks he's got, like, home invaders or even ISIS. And then they're like, yo, chill, bro, it's a prank. It's a prank, bro, it's a prank. It's like, I could just go in the street, shoot an old lady in the head. Police come to me and I'll just be like, yo, chill, fam, it's a prank. Rah, it's a prank, fam. Shit, you fuck. fuck. But yo, yo, chill. Yeah, man, it's a prank. Chill, man. Oi, Alex, bro. Why'd what you throw you a knife? Like oh, I don't know why he tried to throw a knife. Maybe because he thought he had home invaders or ISIS break into his house. You know, it's kind of the reaction I'd have, honestly. I love how these guys act so surprised that the kid reacted negatively to someone breaking into his house. Like, he threw a knife and they're like, Yo, chill, fam. It's a prank. You're not supposed to be scared by ISIS. It's just a prank, fam. Chill, rah, chill. Chill. It's a prank. Yeah, man, it's a prank. It's a prank. Then they give each other a proper bro hug and realize that they can no longer be trusted as friends. Fun fact, this kid got a restraining order at the end of the video and never spoke to any of these kids again. Thank you all for watching this documentary showing how terrible we are as a species yet again. I hope all of you have an amazing Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, just enjoy the holidays and have a great time. And also guys, don't forget... And like and subscribe.